Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are checking out this thing right here. What, wait, what am I talking about? We're continuing on our build with our aircraft carrier. I'm so used to saying certain words when I make videos that that is what came out. But anyway, we're going to be continuing on with the aircraft carrier today. Hopefully we're going to design a... I, I kind of want to try and design a... Um, what are they called? Elevators. I want to try and design an elevator for this thing. Now, a few of you guys have said you want it in the front, a few, guys, a few of you guys have said you want it in the back, and a few of you guys have said in the middle. Now, what I decided to do was maybe one at the back, so that when we go to take off with our aircraft, uh, we can load them right here, and then we can send it straight away, straight down the runway. I think that'll be fine. And then if we go to the front, uh, I think we'll actually have it so that they can actually go down right here. I think that's a good idea anyway. Of course, our aircraft uh, don't actually go all the way to the end. Or our hangar doesn't go all the way to the end. But I think that'll be fine. So, let's go ahead and actually build this out to about here. We'll have the aircraft be able to fit in this little section right here as well. With the wings folded. And hopefully that'll be pretty good. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey! Okie dokie, so we need to design this in a way that it will actually work. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, but let's go ahead and uh, and see, I guess. So let's go with this from here all the way up the wall to there. Excellent. We're then actually going to go from here. So we're going to delete all of this and put that there all the way across here. We're going to delete this corner. We're going to delete this corner. And we're going to delete this entire wall right here. Now, obviously, this is still higher. So we're going to have to lower that down as well, which is fine. So delete all of this. There we go. Delete all of this. Oh, wow. That is a big old space right there, isn't it? That's crazy. Uh, we're going to put all of this in right here. We're obviously going to put all of this in also down to there. And we need to build the floor in also right here. There we go. All right, good. So what we've got so far is, is pretty nice. We now need to delete these areas. Oh, it needs to be wider. I mean, although this will work. Oh, um, no, actually, we're going to go with it. We are going to go with it. So, we're going to go ahead and position this right here. Position this right here. Delete this as a long thingamabobby. Delete that as a long thingamabobby. And this as well. Okay, so, build that in right there. Build this in right here. And build this in across there. I don't want it to be square. I don't quite want it to be square. Um, I want it to, to look nicer than that. So, we're actually going to delete this piece right here. Um, oh, how do I want this to be, actually? Maybe it needs to go inwards rather than outwards. Yikes. Okay, right. We need to figure this out, uh, and then I'll, I'll come back to you. All right, so what I'm thinking is we actually grab this from a set point. Uh, let's go ahead and try and show it. There we go. From there to there, go ahead and cut it and move it upwards. Okay, so we're going to bring this up to here. We're going to paste it. Yes. We're then going to delete this section, this section, this section, and this section. And actually do one, two, there we go. One, two, and then one. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we're going to have this go like this. We're then going to have one of these, obviously go like that. And then we're going to have one of these go like this. Yes. So that's going to be the shape of it, I think. Uh, and I think that'll be fine, maybe. So we're going to actually paint that in there like that. We're going to paint this across here like this. And that's going to be the shape of our elevator. Kind of interesting. So what we need to do is build the opposite, opposite of that in the floor. Or in the wall, I should say. So we need... To do one of these, there we go, uh, like, oh, like this, two, and then one. Okay, so like this, we're then going to do one, two of those, and we're going to do this, there we go. We're then going to do this and this, and then we're going to do this piece, and that should allow it to actually slot straight in to that area. Yes, I think that's good. All right, so with that being said, we now need to actually lower it through the floor just one more time. So do that. We're also actually going to have the elevator stick to this too. So it's going to be that kind of shape all the way along, which I think makes sense. So bring this all the way down to here. Excellent. Uh, we're going to do this one also. Delete that. Put it in there properly, please. Here we go. Excellent. All the way down to there as well. And that should be epic. And then the last one is this one. Yes. So let me know in the comments down below uh, if you actually like the shape of this. Also, let me know in the comments down below whether you think having the elevator at the front is a good idea and having the elevator at the back is a good idea also. Uh, I want to know you guys' opinions, because it's interesting to see. Um, right, okay, excellent. So now, we go ahead and we copy this. 
All right, so we actually, we cut this. Clear to content, cut. There we go, excellent. We'll then have to bring this down to the bottom. It will go underneath by one, okay? So we can paste that right there. Good. We're then going to go ahead and position all of these things. Hang on. So we're going to do this. Whoa! Along the sides. Good. We're actually going to go ahead and continue this along. And yeah, we're going to have it so that it's sort of stuck out there, if that makes sense. Which is fine. I think that's okay. So fill this in right here. And that right there. And that's okay. Actually, delete this and this and that. Put this little piece right here in there like so. And this little piece right here in there like so. And then we'll just fill in the bottom section and it should be okay like that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, good. That's cool. All right. Fill in all of this all the way to the other side if we can. There we go. And all of this too. Whee. All the way to that end. Good. Yeah. All right. That's sick. So we got our elevator down there in the bottom. Uh, it's one lower than it should be, which is fine. And then it'll raise up into this position and that'll be okay too. Excellent. No, that's good. That's really good. So we need to set it so that it makes sure that it does stop here. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to go ahead and figure that out eventually. That's okay. So also we need to make sure that it does actually have the ability to go down. So delete that all the way up to there. Get ourselves a track. Yep. I think we want this one. Okay. We're going to delete this right here. We're going to put that in there like so. Actually, it needs to go backwards one. So build that in there like so. Put this piece on there. And obviously, we want it to go upwards when it spawns. So that'll be good. Then we obviously want the tracks. So we take it all the way up to the tippity top. And that should be epic. Yeah. So this actually brings it all the way up to... Oh, well, actually, it's going to have to go all the way up to the top. So like this. There we go. Bit weird, but I think it'll work. And then we paint that in. Okay. Looks a little bit like it won't work, but we'll try. Okay, excellent. Uh, it looks like a bit missing right there. Delete these two. Grab one of these. Put it in there. And let's see what happens when we add a throttle to it. And we'll go from there. Now, right, here we go. So that goes in here. We'll connect that directly up to... Oh, no. We've actually just got an up and a down. Uh, button. Da -da 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 -da. Toggle button, toggle button. There we go. We've got an up and a down. Hopefully, this will work. Up and down. Excellent. Nice. Da -da 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 -do. We don't need to actually give it electricity. That's not a problem. Okay, right. Save this as... There we go. Okay. I think that's how I've spelt it. Anyway, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see if this works. I'm sure it will. Maybe. Okay, so clearly it will actually spawn at the bottom, which is fine. We can change that in the future. But yes, it will spawn one too low. Then we go and we push this. Wait, have I got it on thingy? There we go. And it should move up. Oh, I haven't actually connected them together. I haven't. They're not actually connected together. <laughs> they need to be, though. Right, let me do that real quick. All right, so this is it on the ship. Let's go ahead and press this button. And we are actually raising up. Excellent. And it should get us to the surface. And that is fine. Is it okay to have this like this, though? I'm not sure it is. I kind of feel like that's not right. Uh, I also actually want to add a little bit of paint to the outside of this to make sure it looks right as well. However, I'm not sure I actually do want to do that. But is it going to go down? It feels like it's stuck. Why is it stuck there? Why is it stuck? Eh? That's confusing. Is it? Oh, no. There we go. Now it's working. That's weird. It got a little bit stuck, but that's okay. So it lowers down. It just got stuck again. That's a bit strange. We might have to add some sliders to the side to make sure it does actually go down uh, properly. But yeah, I guess that's fine. There we go. Uh, but we only want to lower it to the actual deck, which is like there. So we need to make sure that it does actually land or end up uh, level with this, which would be great. So that's good. Okay. Yeah, no, that works. Then we can obviously push the uh, um, aeroplane into here and fix it and stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, let's raise it back up. Here we go. We're raising. We're raising. Beautiful. There we go. Finishes flat and flush with this. And that is awesome. I like it. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to go ahead and copy this entire thing. Hopefully that'll be okay. Actually, should I change it slightly? Mm, no. No, 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 no. We're going to grab the entire thing. Uh, all of this, in fact. 
including the exterior bits, because I feel like they're actually very important. So we'll grab that uh, out to there, I believe. Yeah, and this out to here also, and also this out to there. All right, there we go. So we've got everything that we need. Let's go ahead and copy it. There we go. We're going to take it to the rear, and we're going to add them in at the back as well. We could actually have them at the sides as well, but I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet. But anyway, if I can position this in a to a point where it actually fits in with this, that would be excellent. That would be excellent, uh, which indeed it sort of is. So, oh wait, no, but we're going to have to turn this around uh, like that, yeah, so that it fits in with that. I think that's about right. Yeah, okay. And it doesn't quite fit in with this, but that's okay. So let's paste it. There we go. All right, get rid of the interior bit because it's obviously unnecessary. Here we go. All the way to there. All of this and all of this and also all of that. There we go. Good. And then this entire wall has to leave. Fantastic. Yes. And then we actually need the... Oh, we need to delete all of this too. Oh, there's a lot that needs deleting actually. All right, delete all of that. Delete all of this, including these pieces. Here we go. All the way across here. Oh, there is so much to delete. That's crazy. All of that as well. Excellent. All of this to there. All of that to there. Good. All right, nice. We're also going to have to delete these two as well. Okay, I think that makes sense, I suppose. Uh, let's merge these in so that they do actually fit together. And then we need to add the tracks back to this end. And then we'll be good to go. Yeah. All right, so linear track base. Obviously, we want to put that in uh, underneath here, I guess. So it's going to have to go in there kind of like... Kind of like that, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we merge this with this. Oh, no, that's not quite right, is it? Is it? How have I got that? <laughs> How have I got that built? What's going on here? So it actually needs to go in so that this piece is up. There we go. So if we just build this into here, delete that little section right there, put that bit... Oh, hang on. Track. Put that in there. Like so. Then we just need the track piece to go all the way to the top, and then we'll be good. So, is it like this on the other side? I'm not sure it is. <laughs> I'm not actually sure it is, but let's see. So, put that there. Excellent. It should work, which is fine. That's good. We'll paint this in there like that. Excellent. We'll actually have this. Oh, how have I done this? I've accidentally uh, ruined this, this pattern on the deck. That's annoying. All right, so everyone in the middle needs this. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, that's fine. Then we do that. We also do this. Okay. Yeah, I've absolutely destroyed the uh, the pattern on the outside, but we can get that going again. All right, so that goes... No. That goes there, there, and there. This goes here. Uh, Where are we up to? This goes here, here, and here. That means this disappears. And this continues. That disappears. This continues. That disappears. And this continues. Then we also need this bit to work properly too. So that's like that, like that, like that. Hey! Alright, I'm slowly doing it. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. And I think that's all good. So now that it's all merged in properly, uh, merge that in with that. Good. We then need to actually give these guys ups and downs. So here we go. Down and up. Let's see if this works. I actually don't spawn it in. We need to use the mission to spawn it. But yeah, let's see if this works. That'll be cool. All right, so it should be spawning in any time now. There it is. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. They're both going to raise up at the... Oh, okay, this one isn't raising. Why are you not raising? All right, there we go. It's the wrong key that I've actually attached to it, but that's fine. So both of them have raised. There we go. This is what they look like when they're on the deck. They're actually relatively small, but that's okay because the planes that we're going to be landing on this thing are relatively small. Uh, when we build them. We're going to have to build them to this spec, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, they should actually fit down to there. Maybe if we want to have bigger planes, we can actually build a big old elevator on the side. I think that is probably the best way about going about this, but we'll see. So delete this, do that. I hate that this is having problems like this, but I think what we'll do is we'll add sliders on this end as well. So it all slides down at the right, the right height and stuff. Uh, and I think that'll be sick. Yeah. That's probably the best way of doing it, too. All right, so, yeah, we are going to add some uh, unpowered sliders uh, at this edge. So, delete those two. Uh, that's already done on this side. Bring it all the way up to at least here. 
I guess it's actually going to go all the way to the top, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah. So we're going to have them on sliders all the way up to there. They're also going to be the same color as the exterior, which is fine. So this is going to go... I guess it could go this way, but no, we want it to go the other way. So attach this under there, turn it around so it's on. Put that there. Merge this with this. Good. Do the same thing on this side. And then obviously we just need this to go up the edges. And then hopefully it'll slide a lot nicer than that after this is done. However, it does show on the deck and I'm not sure I like that. I, I actually don't like that, but if it's what we're going to have to have, it's what we're going to have to have. We might also need a locking mechanism somewhere too. Um, but I think that'll be okay. We also need to do the same thing on this one. So delete all of this all the way down to there. Delete this piece and this piece and get ourselves a track that fits this in. So, oh, wait, is this lower than the other one? I'm confused. All right, it's, I'm sure it's fine. So do this, put it there. Excellent. Um, grab this, send it up to the top of the deck, and voila! There we go. That should be good. All right, paste that there. We're going to go ahead and merge these two together, this with this, and also this one with this one. Hopefully now this will actually work out. We're not going to power them at all. Oh, but they are going to be powered automatically because of infinite electricity. That's really annoying, actually. But yeah, so we want this one to be up. And we want this one to be down. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and we might actually need to put a battery in here. In order to actually power those real quick. So we'll go underneath. We'll put it in the middle. Like that. And we'll power it. Here we go. So we'll actually power this one. And these two. There we go. They're all going to need their own little powers. That's really annoying. But there you go. And then we're going to have to do the same thing down here. And then we're going to have to turn off infinite electricity. And I think that'll be fine. Okay. Small battery. Go ahead and whack it in there. Good. Connect these together. This with this. And there we go. So it is floating now, but it wouldn't be if it was normal. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, it's static in the way that I've spawned it in. This obviously needs a underneath bit. It obviously needs an underneath bit. So we'll bring it all the way to there. And now we have an underneath bit. Very nice. So it's sealed. That's good. Uh, save it. As it currently is. Yep. We're then going to turn off infinite electricity. We're then going to spawn it in and hope for the best. Because hopefully this will work now. Maybe. And here it comes. It's going to be here any second now. And the elevators should be making their way up to the surface. Uh, however, they are not. And the reason being is because we have infinite electricity on. So let's turn that off. And now let's see what happens. All right, that one's not moved. Has this one moved? Okay. They don't seem to have moved. What's going on here? Why are they struggling? Like, they really shouldn't be struggling. This is weird. That's very strange. It really, like, should not be struggling, and I'm not sure why it is. Hmm. Weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright, maybe it's because I spawned it in with infinite electricity on. Maybe now it'll actually work. No? Okay, that one stayed at the bottom. <clears throat> and this one has, uh, indeed, stayed at the bottom. Also, they look like they're flying. Like, they're not even touching. Is this one actually just full-on broken because it's... No, but the front one was doing the same thing, wasn't it? Weird. That's very weird. All right, can we... Oh, I need to fix this too. I did notice this before. Anyway, infinite electricity. Turn the button on. Okay, we've got all the lights working, right? Yeah, oh, this is sick. This is very, very cool. So, these aren't working currently, but they should be. It goes down, and it moves up slightly, but it goes down, and it moves up slightly. But it's getting caught on something, but it's not getting caught on anything, so it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, sorry, that's the thing as well. I actually need to paint this bit back in properly as well, because uh, at the minute, it's obviously wrong. So we need to paint that there. We need to paint this here, one, two, three, four. Then we do this and this, this and this, and this and this. There we go, very good. So with that being said, can we just increase the amount of, uh, not speed... The power, yes. Maybe we just increase the gear ratio uh, and it will actually go up now. Maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. So gear ratio, let's bring it all the way up uh, to 16. There we go, 1 to 16. We're also going to bring the gear ratio of this down to 1 to 1. Is that right? And max power like 0. There we go. 0% power, please, guys. There you go. 1 to 1, but 0% power. Hopefully this will allow it to just slide, I I think. So, 0% power, 
Zero percent power and save. All right, let's see if this works. All right, hopefully this is going to work now. So I want it to spawn in and I want the elevators to come straight up. Oh, that one's working. And this one's working. They're coming up together. Look, like both elevators, elevators might make it to the top at the same time. I'm not entirely sure about that, but we'll see. So the front one is almost there. The back one is almost there. It gets to the top. Voila, there we go. Then we've got elevators locked in on the decks. Uh, we'll obviously move the buttons and stuff. That's fine. But uh, they do work. They are very small, though. They are extremely small. We might have to make them bigger. But uh, if that's the case, then we will have to do that. And we will do that. But um, we'll have to see. But obviously, if we build it with folding wings, the plane, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. We'll have to see them. But uh, elevators installed. We might make them bigger. They, they do look small. All right, here we go. Let's lower it. Oh, it gets stuck. Why does it get stuck? Why is it getting stuck on? Does anyone know? Also, does anyone know why these look like they're floating? Because they, they're definitely floating. <laughs> they're definitely floating. I'm not sure why that's a thing. I honestly think it's just this trying to drag it down and it's not working out. Maybe we should actually put those at the sides as well. And allow those to actually drag it down as well. And then we'll have smoother running things. It's just it'll look weird when it's, when it's up. Because we'll have these at the side too. But a little bit of detail in the deck like that isn't actually a problem. So maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. So get rid of all of this. There we go, all the way down to there. Delete these two, three. There we go, that's good. Also delete this and this, and that'll be fine. We're also then going to grab one of these. We're going to put it right there. Uh, yep, okie dokie. Actually, does that bit raise too? I think it does. So we'll actually just delete those. Have that there. Um, yeah. I think that's right, isn't it? Track? Let's see. Let's see if it's correct. If it is, that's good. If it's not, never mind. No, I think it's good. All right, there we go. So this will go all the way up to here, and that'll be okay. Uh, and that is fine. There you go. So now we actually give these guys electricity also. So that's electricity. This is electricity. We connect the up. Is that up? Yep. We connect the up with the ups, and the downs with the downs, and then we'll be good. Up and up, down and down, down and down. There we go. So hopefully that'll work out. We then need to do the same thing with the back one, which I'll do straight away now. And then we'll see if they work after that. I'm sure it'll be fine after that. All right. So we've got a case of, are these elevators too small? Is that what you guys think? Do you guys think they're too small? In like, in, in proportion with the aircraft carrier, I don't think they're that bad. But uh, I think if the planes are going to be, like, a normal size, I feel like these might be too small. Which then means we just need to make them a little bit bigger. Which I guess is fine, because the runway itself is big enough to do that. And also, uh, the area in the deck down below is actually big enough to do that. So, we can do that. That would be fine. Um, but yeah, it has actually worked up to here now. So, if we turn this off and we do this. It still gets stuck? Why is it getting stuck on? Also, maybe it's the fact that those are actually different to this. Because this one's now got, like, uh, a higher power. Okay, that makes sense. We're going to change that, and then we'll see what happens after that. Hopefully, this will be the last change. Maybe. Yeah, so if we actually go down to this thing, let's go ahead and select them. So, if we select this one... Uh, whoa, that didn't work. Hang on. If we select this one straight away, there we go. It's 1 to 16. Okay, excellent. Select this one. We'll go 1 to 16. And if they all go at the same time, we should be fine. But also, if it's this fiddly already, um, and this fragile already, maybe this isn't the best way of doing it. You know? Maybe, just maybe, this isn't the best way of doing it. But I think we're good. So let's go ahead and save it, see if it works. If it does work, I'll be happy. If it doesn't work, I might cry. But I'm sure it'll be fine. So, um, yeah, let's do it. And this is the final one. Is it going to work? Who knows? So the elevator is coming up. Excellent. That's very good. Um, of course. It's very nice. We might have to add some lights into the walls of this. That would be pretty sick. Uh, we can make it look cool. But we need to figure out whether we want it to be bigger than this. I think so. Now, the more that I look at it, the smaller this seems. So that's a thing. We also need to paint that a different color and that a different color as well. But that's fine. So we've got it to the top. Now we want it to go down. I don't know why it's getting stuck. I genuinely don't know why it's getting stuck. It shouldn't be. Okay. 
Maybe I haven't powered some of them? Let's go. Oh, no. Infinite electricity is on. It's like that side's getting dragged down first. All together. There we go. All right, cool. So if it all goes down together, that's fine. Weird. Okay, we just need to make sure it's smooth as it goes down. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, but that's okay. So we drop it all the way to a point. Which is... Like, there, pretty much. Oh, no. Bit down. Bit further down than that. Come on. You see, because we don't want it to go all the way down to there. That would suck. We actually need it to line up properly with that. But we can't. So, there you go. We've got elevators. They're okay. They somewhat work. But they're a little bit small. That's, uh, that's the main issue we've got with this. Also, if you want it to actually work out properly... You need to lower it all the way to the... Why is it getting stuck there? Why is it getting stuck there? Isn't that weird? Like, why... Why would it get stuck there? There we go, and now it works. So, it might be a little bit temperamental and a little bit broken. But you know what? If it's a World War II carrier, it probably was temperamental and a little bit broken. <laughs> so, there you go. Anyway, um... We're good. We're good. I've built elevators. They somewhat work. We'll add more detail to them in the future, but I'm actually happy with that. I might make them the same width of the actual runway as well. That might be the other thing that we actually work on. Because I think that'll make it look better, actually. But for now, we'll leave it like this. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I might put a poll up uh, in the channel thingy. Channel, channel discussion thing. Uh, if you guys want to vote on whether we make them bigger or leave them as they are. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.